Hi guys, today I wanted to talk about sitting in the power. This is a foundational, fundamental part of developing your mediumship. A real benefit of sitting in the power is building up your resilience and energy. Not only is it getting used to your own energy so that you're able to easily perceive foreign energy, aka spirit, coming into your aura and your energy field, but it also helps you build your power, literally. An example is when I first started doing readings, I could really only do energetically a couple of months. I would get way too tired and anytime I push my boundaries outside of that, I would get energy sick. I have a whole podcast episode on spirit school all on energy sickness and I will explain it in greater detail for you. But it's flu-like symptoms. And then I was too drained to do readings again for a few months. But as the years tick by, I'm seven years in at the time of recording this video, I've sat in the power with devotion and dedication, I have exercised my abilities, and I'm able to do dozens of readings a month now. And not only that, but the prep time that I require to connect with the world of spirit shortens. Uh, I don't need to prepare as much now or have these, you know, kind of ritualistic hang-ups that a lot of mediums develop really early on to be able to have confidence and have the power there to connect with the world of spirit. I'm able to do it almost at the drop of a hat now because I've sat with my own energy for so long for the intention of building my power, remembering that intention is everything in this life. It truly is the magical ingredient of life. I truly believe as well that sitting in the power shows the world of spirit that we are serious about this path, that we are devoted and we are dedicated to being developing mediums. And I believe it's just showing the world of spirit that we're here and that it shows them that they can work through us because we're doing the work on our end and our side. So there comes a point in your development where you will do practice readings one-on-one -on -one for some time and you might find that your power stalls a little bit because you need to push yourself to expand further. This may require you to do group readings or demonstrations. I remember the first time I did my demonstration, it was six years into my practice because I'm a bit of a scaredy cat, but as a fear and empowerment coach now, I've learned to walk through fear every single time and I encourage you always to do too. But the, after the first demonstration that I have, which was in front of 22 people, my aura and my power completely expanded and I realized that spirit had been encouraging me for years to get to that next level so I can expand my power even further and ever since I did that my, my aura expanded and my power grew I was, my readings became a lot more powerful as well and I was able to do more even though I do have a lot of boundaries just in my personal life around not doing too many readings because I want to live my life I will talk about that in a totally different video now, how I like to sit in the power is I like to do it over about a 12 minute time frame. I really only do it myself once or twice a week. You can do it every day, you can do it once a month. There's no rules, there's no guidelines, there's no pass or fail. And I simply do a five, five, five for after I breathe in for five seconds, hold for five seconds, release for five seconds. And then as I steady into a normal rhythmic breath, I then have a mantra that I use such as, I am gratitude, I am love, I am light. As the inhale, holding, exhale. And I repeat that until I can feel my vibrations raise. And then I envision a white light going all around my body and I actually do a, a scan of my body and with every exhale, I push the light out a couple inches for every exhale. And then once the light has expanded so far that it leaves the four walls in which I'm sitting, I then just sit in my energy. I sometimes feel a cobwebby feeling coming over my face or my arms or my hands. Um, scientists believe that this is just your body doing its thing, pumping out blood, calming the nervous system. I truly believe it's our spirit waking up. It's our spirit expanding. I believe that there could be a spiritual and scientific explanation for almost everything in the metaphysical world, but that's my interpretation of it. One of the most important things I feel when it comes to the dedication and devotion of sitting in the power is to not seek, right? As mediums, we are seekers. We sit in meditation to feel spirit. We sit in meditation to connect with our spirit guides. When sitting in the power really calls us to go within, it's sitting with our own spirit. Because the truth of the matter is, we are made up of the exact same stuff as the guides that we admire and the ascended masters that we revere. And so we need to remember that we are also spirit and it's worthy and worth sitting in our own power with our own energy. So I highly recommend if you're a developing medium to take this practice on. 
have fun with it. Be devoted to it, be dedicated to it. And if you fall off and you lose interest for a little while, that's okay. Pop back on whenever you feel called and whenever you feel ready.